Jesus Christ, dead and risen, gave us the gift of knowledge. Thursday on the 8th of Easter. This chat and talk is prepared by Jeremy Habiarimana. First reading. The author of life he put to death, but God raised him from the dead. A reading from Acts of the Apostles 3, 11 to 26. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we have made him walk by our own power? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilates' presence. When he had decided to release him, you denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses, by faith in his name. This man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him his perfect health in the presence of all you know. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did. God has thus brought to fulfillment that he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you. Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from old. Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God rise up for you from among your own king. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God rose up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 8, 2, and 5, 6 through 9. O Lord your God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rules over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and all oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the sea. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel. It is written that Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. A reading to the Gospel according to Luke 24, 35 to 48. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how the, they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do you question arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. As he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, 
Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sister, sisters, today Jesus Christ the Lord presents to us to open our understanding by his Holy Spirit so that we can understand what it's written about him, understand that it's preached about him, to increase our faith in his presence alive. Only we convert in him, to him, with him. In Jesus Christ, dead and resurrected, is the power that wakes us, which converts us. Yes, our history when we have faith in him necessarily changes in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk of him so we can change the history of a lot of people. It's necessary that first we change ourselves. We must believe that Jesus is our Savior, our freedom, our life, our death, our glory, and our happiness, Jesus Christ. In the first reading, the apostles insist above faith for the miracle in which heals in the name of Jesus Christ. Him and his disciple originated a very huge love. The healed, the healed person didn't want to separate from them. This always occurs. Jesus Christ, Jesus' Spirit, dead and risen, created the communion between them. When one person enters in the Paschal, in Jesus Christ, dead and resurrected, he feels very united to those that believe in Jesus. The saints are our first friends, and all who believe in Jesus Christ increase the love to the saints because the saints live near him. Jesus dispels from sin and gets close to Mary and the saints. The saints' communion began here. The communion is more than a friendship. It's brothers and sisters, more than those from the blood, and it's a mysterious fraternity mystical. Sons and daughters of the same father, members of the same body of Jesus Christ. That is why they are united. If you do not have friends in this world, the saints are your friends. For Jesus Christ's grace always, you will find somebody that loved Jesus Christ to walk together. It's always like that. Jesus Christ creates a new community, the church. All that fills in communion to be of Jesus Christ, to live in him, always receive the mission to announce him to others. As the gospel says, it is written that Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. That repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Each person that finds Jesus, they feel called to transmit his grace. This is the fire, the heat to light the others. In every preaching in which Jesus Christ is spoken, the eyes of the listeners are open. The knowledge is open in the heart. He, real, he realizes his evil, looking to the inf infinite goodness of Jesus Christ, and is attracted to him. Do not run away. Confess his sin. Lord, I am a sinner. Forgive me. Contrary to what happens when Jesus says in the Gospel of St. John 8, he who has no sin, let him throw the first stone. When, he, when they left, instead of confessing their sins, they didn't have the, the grace. We do have that grace. We do not flee to see our sin, but we go to him. Yes, Lord, Jesus, I am evil. Forgive me. I have a black history full of darkness. I have committed all sins. I deserve death. Have compassion on me. That is why we talk about conversion and forgiveness of sins, both together. After presenting Christ to the world, the consequence is always conversion, that is, seeing the evil of sin. I want to leave evil. I go to Jesus who saves me from my past sins with his goodness, 
to build a holy future on the rock that he is, Jesus Christ. We have the mission to speak of Jesus Christ in his name because there's only one Savior, and he will save all who hear talk of him. His name enters them. The fact of hearing his name indicates that something has already happened because only the Holy Spirit opens the ears. Blessed are those who speak of Jesus Christ. Blessed are all who feel called to announce Jesus Christ to those who do not know him, to those who do not speak of him. That mission is yours. It is mine. We have to comply. Come, Holy Jesus. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Amen.